Have you ever wondered how to make a roof that actually stands out as architecture? I mean, it's the top of your building, but when you make a model, it's simply just a cover most of the time. Well, that's what we'll be talking about for today. Hey guys, I'm Brandon with I Am The Studio, and today we'll be looking at making an architecture design using SketchUp. Essentially, we always are going to be making some sort of model, something quick, and finding ourselves in a place where, hey, how can I present this? In this video, we'll be looking at how to add architectural details like rafters, brackets, and also just detailing how the profiles are so that they stand out as architectural details integrating with the building. This is part three of an architecture and SketchUp series, and I hope you take a look at the links in the description below for other parts of this series and more resources. If you like this content, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to the IM Studio channel uh, for more great content and excellent materials for architects and designers in the latest software. Okay, so we had a little trim there. We'll come back. Now, because our roof is a little bit um, basic, uh, I will create the, the trim. Um, and this is just my rafters. And the idea is that you could really, in terms of this, this roof, object to start to simplify it. I'm going to come out and start with actually using I can use this exactly. Come out and I'm going to turn this into a group. So right now I'm going to do it basic where it's not exactly to the way it is in the model because I want the, tr the rafter to look a little bit like it would look and what happens is it's going to need to come down and so I'm going to be adding profile for the roof here and so the profile is going to be a little bit different so I'm going to come out to our .03 that little distance and that's where I'm defining this rafter and so that's our the first little element because I'm going to need it on the other side I'm just going to go ahead and add the model come over here make it a one I just mirrored that. Now I'm just going to delete this. Delete this. And now the rafter is going to come down. I'm going to come down like uh, 1.5 inches. I'm going to use inches. It's just because I'm thinking about the nominal dimension here. Um, and I'm going to have a size of um, 1.5 as well. Those will be a little bit bigger units. I'm going to come in and make sure to get that going. And, and the way I would do it, of course, is having that trim sort of go over it. So um, it actually could even come in. Um, but it, it's going to be a bar drafter here, which is pretty going to be exposed and this part would come out and so um, I think since we're you know, pretty pretty clear I think I can go ahead and just copy it and then I'm gonna adjust the other roof because that was composite okay and so I'm just trying to measure the size a little bit so I know what we're looking at so that's 10.4 or 10, 10 and a half meters and I think you want to have a spacing of about 0.6 meters and 0.6 meters going to be going into that is going to be um, probably I guess if you say for every meter you're going to break it down into 1.5 so it would be 15 so I'm going to just try that use that same array function where I take that And I just want to make sure, press my control, 
over 50. Then I'm going to come into that roof. And even this, um, what I'm going to do is add a trim to come on the front of these as well. So as this is now going to be responding and coming down a little bit, it's going to be um, tying into a trim. It's going to be down here. But this lower part is actually going to be as if it's dying. I'm just going to click it right here. right? And we do that same thing over here. On this side, we're moving top of that roof here, and we're it's dying on the inside. And it's also well, down the inside, and it'll also come back. I was at least trying to go to the the building. So I'm coming in here, dealing with that roof. So now we have this going on. And because I said the barred rafter comes out a little bit more, um, we're going to find out what's going on here. Uh, we come in, and we're just going to now turn this new line and take out that part from the model. In fact, I'm not really just trying to take it out, but I definitely am going to be it's pretty much concealing it. And I'm going to do that same feature so that you don't have overlapping geometry here, where I come into under that roof. So I fixed that, and obviously it's it's looking a lot better. But we're missing the trim, and we're also missing a bracket. And the bracket would be a really nice little element, of course, to support this, so it's not hanging on nothing. Um, so for my bracket, and right now these actually are copied, but these actually could very easily have become a component. And I just say that's my rafter. And I actually could be very easily um, taking these, and if I just selected all of them, zoom it back. Now I'm going to come back and do again, or copy these. So we have our components. Now if I wanted to come down and say maybe on my rafter tail I want to add a little bit of a little cut. And then if I want to say I want to come and take this the same pattern. Put that on the other side. I do negative one. Immediately start having a little you know, uniqueness there. And for adding our our trim, that's going to go at the base of it. We're just going to be creating a piece that would uh, come out here, maybe point uh, seven five inch, and it comes down maybe. 5.5 5 inches. Again, this is nominal dimensions. It's easier for me to use uh, that what I know. I'm just creating that. So I make a component. And this is my just trim there. And again, modeling sake I'm doing it quickly but you would of course be putting some division between your chimney as well all right so 
now we've added that, uh, we can obviously see that it's looking tons better. There's no gutter that's currently made. Um, but we're going to just basically um, just leave and deal with the roof right now. Um, I've made a bracket, and I'm going to import that in. This is a roof bracket. That's my barge bracket. And what I'm going to do is just come in and move it right in here. Just make sure it's resting enough on my member here. It's probably made, maybe it's a little bit, a little bit more. And what I'll do is for sure make sure I place it on the other side as well. And I'm going to put one in the middle. I just want to make sure that it is going to be centered. I'm using the center point of this line. And I will go ahead and also just for modeling's sake, draw that line in to differentiate these two sides. So to have like not just two of these, I'm going to go ahead and just use my array function over two. Actually, I want to do over three. I'm going to do that same thing made a duplicate on this side over a three and do my duplicate and then I would come back and make this little group see if it's coming out too much if it's coming out too much obviously we need to adjust it a little bit but because it's a component it's not going to be that hard I'm just going to come in, move it back, maybe move the whole thing back a little bit. And we will go to the other side of the roof. And it'll be a little bit tricky. I'm going to rotate it so I don't transform the geometry too much. Do 180. And I'm going to use this midpoint as a guideline to first locate it on this side. And I'll come back in and pull it in to here. And so now see that's on the back, it's fitting. On the front, it's fitting. Oh, let's see, accidentally copied it. It's no worries. Um, let's come back in here and just do that same thing I we just did. Just remember to make sure to press Control. 180. Move that piece. Right here. Already starting to look a lot nicer. We go to my perspective. I'm going to label that my final perspective. I'm seeing a very nice set now. Whereas before it was just really a, a box, now it's starting to have architectural features. Thanks for joining me. This has been Brandon with I Am The Studio. I love helping people with their software, with their design elements. If you like this video, go ahead, like it, and subscribe to this channel. Click the bell for notifications. And if you need help with any of your SketchUp projects, uh, look in the links below for a description to my complete SketchUp guide course. I also have several other courses in design and software that you might be interested in. So go ahead, check those out, and I'll see you in the next episode.